Noah Zora was born 21 years ago in the East Blue. By the time he was 8 years old, Zoro trained at a dojo in Shimitsuki village. Zoro stated in the parody that, once he decided that he would become an invincible swordsman, he left his life behind. Even as a child, Zoro was strong enough to defeat most adults, but could not defeat Kaina, the daughter of the dojo's master, Kaoshiru. During a training session, he got to meet Kaina's grandfather, Shimitsuki Kozaburo, who gifted him a pair of swords to aid in his practice. After their 2000th fight and Kaina's 2000th victory, Zoro challenged her in private for one more match with real swords. Although he had improved tremendously since their first match, he still lost and cried with frustration, telling Kaina about his dream of becoming the world's greatest swordsman. Hearing this, Kaina confided in Zoro, telling him that she shared the same dream but knew she could never attain it. Her father had told her that girls could never be true sword masters, and that her fighting potential would decrease as her body matured. Zoro, annoyed by her defeatist attitude in spite of repeatedly winning against him, told her that one day he would beat her because he was more skilled, not because she was a girl. The two made a promise had either of them had to become the world's best swordsman. Zoro asks for Kaina's sword, the Wado Ikamanji. The next day, Kaina suffered a fatal fall down the stairs of her dojo, much to Zoro's anger and disappointment. Realizing that she would never have a chance to fulfill her dream, Zoro took it upon himself, asking Kaoshiro for her sword, Wado Ikamanji, and began working to develop his signature three-sword style, holding his own two swords in each hand, and Kaina's clenched between his teeth. Eventually, Zoro learned of Dracul Hawkeye Mihawk who currently holds the title of the greatest swordsman in the world. He set off to sea, searching for him in order to challenge him to a duel. However, he lost his way and could not find his way back home. In order to survive on his own, he took on bounties to pay for living expenses. He quickly built a famous reputation for himself as a pirate hunter in the East Blue and even in the Grand Line as Baroque works had heard about him. He was even considered the greatest swordsman of East Blue. During that time, he met two bounty hunters, Johnny and Yosaku. Because of his reputation as a bounty hunter, Zoro was offered a position as a numbered agent within Baroque Works. He replied that he would accept only if he became the leader of the organization, which they refused. He then killed MR7, the agent who offered him the position, in self-defense. Zoro is a muscular man of average height with lightly tanned skin. He always carries his three swords along with him, bundled up with a green haramaki over his right hip, allowing him to easily draw them with his left hand. Of the three swords he has on his person, he has always been seen carrying the Wado Ikamanji, while his other two swords have varied over time due to them being destroyed and subsequently replaced with progressively better ones. Although his right hand is usually seen resting over them, he can also use this hand to pull his swords out before sitting down. He has three identical gold earrings on his left earlobe. Zoro normally keeps a black bandana tied around his left bicep and ties it around his head when he is fighting seriously against an opponent. Zoro's body is covered with scars from his many battles, most notably the massive scar stretching from his left shoulder to his right hip that he acquired during his loss against the world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk, at Barity. His other visible scars are the scars he inflicted upon his ankles in a desperate attempt to free himself from MR3's giant candle service set by trying to cut his feet off at Little Garden. After the time skip, he gained another scar over his left eye, obtained through unknown means. Zoro has devoted his life to becoming the world's strongest swordsman. Even before joining the crew, he was well renowned for his outstanding abilities and accomplishments in battle. His skills drastically improved after becoming the combatant of the Straw Hat Pirates and entering a two-year training period under the strongest swordsman in the world, Dracul Mihawk. By the time he met Luffy, Zoro had established himself as a fearsome bounty hunter in the East Blue, so much so that Kobe had heard he was a demon in the form of a man. His accomplishments in hunting pirates were significant enough to earn him the epithet of Pirate Hunter, which he remains known for even after becoming a pirate. When Zoro dueled Dracul Mihawk, 
His former partners Johnny and Yosaku were completely confident that he would win due to Zoro's dominance over East Blue opponents, though they were ignorant to the fact that the East Blue is the weakest of the world seas. Indeed, Zoro was utterly outclassed by Mihawk, a warlord of the sea from the Grand Line. Since that defeat, he promised to never lose a battle again. Since joining the crew, Zoro has defeated several mighty adversaries most of whom are fellow swordsmen alongside Luffy and Sanji, Zoro is considered one of the monster trio of the Straw Hats due to his strength. Zoro's infamy has frequently been treated as second only to his captain, and in some instances, he has even been mistaken as the leader of the Straw Hats due to his more extensive reputation. Onlookers have also wondered how he could not be the captain after seeing demonstrations of his power. During the crew's journey Zoro has come to possess some of the most legendary swords in history and has used them to both improve his skills and develop the most devastating attacks. Zoro was the second straw hat to receive a bounty, and for much of the crew's existence, his bounty has been the second highest although it is currently the fourth highest, with Sanji and Jin now being ahead of him. Zoro was identified as a super rookie after obtaining a bounty of over before reaching the Sabaudi Archipelago. He was only one of two non-pirate captains alongside Killer of the Worst Generation to have that distinction. Weaker people are easily intimidated by Zoro, as Kobe remarked that he had a demonic aura at Shell's town even as he was tied up and starved of food for over a week. This ability has held even in the New World, as when Monet came to suddenly realize the degree of power and killing intent Zoro had, she froze in place as Zoro charged her. After Zoro intentionally performed a harmless attack, she then became seized by fear to such a degree that she was unable to reform her larger body to its normal state. When Zoro gets serious in a battle, he usually dons his black bandana on his head, though whether or not it has any real psychological effect on his abilities is uncertain. Ever since entering the New World, he has rarely been wounded or given a serious challenge, defeating Monet with his sheer strength alone without Haki frightening her to the point of being unable to control her elemental form. His first genuine challenge was a short confrontation with one of the admirals, Isho, who described his slash attack as ferocious despite being held down by gravitational force. As the first showcase of his greatly improved strength and skills, Zoro defeated Pika, one of the warlord Don Quixada Flamingo's top three elite officers in a couple of moves after slicing apart his colossal stone body and figuring out the nature of his devil fruit abilities. Zoro suffered his first serious wound in Wano against Kamazo the Manslayer, albeit because he avoided a surprise assault from Gyukimaru, while still managing to defeat the assassin using a single attack without Shusui at the time. During the raid on Onigashima, he faced off against the Emperor Keidu, famed as the world's strongest creature in both his beast and hybrid forms. Wounding him despite the tremendous toughness of his body, then giving him his second scar since Kazuki Odin, earning his acknowledgement. In his battle against King, Kadu's right-hand man and one of the beast's pirate's three all-stars, Zoro was able to apply advanced Heshoku Haki and Biso Shoku Haki to his three swords, dealing significant damage to and then defeating the exceedingly resilient Lunarian despite being gravely wounded and close to exhaustion whereas the former was closer to top condition, 